Greetings friends, it's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and today I've got another of my alphabet book collages and I want to jump right in because the story is a little bit long. This is The Celestial Sisters, a Native American folk tale. As the story goes, White Hawk lived in a remote forest where animals abounded. He was an orphan and had no family, but he was a most skillful young hunter and brought home more game than any of his tribe. One day, he hunted further than he had ever gone before, and through the trees, he saw a distant plain, the border of a prairie. After walking for some time, he found a ring of trampled grass and decided to hide himself and see what came. Then he heard music and saw a little summer cloud floating down from above with a basket filled with twelve beautiful sisters. As soon as the basket touched the ground, they leaped out of it and began to dance around the magic ring and striking a shining ball, which made the music. White Hawk admired them all, but he was most enchanted with the youngest. He longed to meet her, to make her his sister. Unable to remain silent any longer, he rushed out to seize the twelfth beauty. But the sisters, with the quickness of birds, leaped back into the basket and were drawn up into the sky. He returned day after day, trying to trick them again and again, but always failed. Finally, he found an old stump covered with moss that was the home of some mice. White Hawk thought this was perfect. First he moved the stump nearer to the ring and then he changed himself into a mouse and keeping one eye up toward the sky he played with his mouse friends. It was not long before the sisters came down and started their dance but the youngest sister was startled to see the stump and her sisters could see that there was only mice there, so they chased them away, shooing them, but just as the youngest chased after the mouse who was White Hawk, he changed back into uh, himself and grabbed her with both arms. The eleven then sprang into their basket and were drawn up to the skies. White Hawk was very caring and tried everything to please his new sister, and to make her happy. From that moment, he was the happiest of the tribe, but his sister did her best to hide her longing to go back to the stars. She remembered the charm that would carry her up, and while White Hawk was hunting, she constructed a wicker basket, which she kept hidden. She also collected such things from the earth as she thought would please her father, the Star Chief. One day, when she was ready, she went out to the charmed ring in the basket. With her basket, she began her magical song, and the basket rose. White Hawk knew at once the voice, and he ran rapidly to the prairie. Though he made a breathless speed, he could not reach the ring before the sister had ascended beyond his reach. He watched it, calling after it until finally it vanished in the sky. He bent his head down to the ground and was miserable. Through a long, cold winter and the long summer, White Hawk bewailed his loss, but he found no relief. In the meantime, his sister had reached her home in the stars and so enjoyed being home with her father, she had almost forgotten that she had left a dear brother on earth. After a time, she began to yearn to see White Hawk again, so her father said to his daughter, Go, my child, and ask him to come up and live with us. And so she descended. White Hawk, who was always close to the enchanted spot, heard her voice as she came down from the sky. 
His heart beat with impatience as he saw her form and he soon clasped her in his arms. Upon hearing the message of the Star Chief, he looked around one last time at his home on the earth with tearful eyes and taking his sister by the hand, they entered the car and were drawn up into a country far beyond the flight of birds. Great joy was manifested upon their arrival at the Starry Plains. The Star Chief invited White Hawk to stay with them, or if he chose, he could return to the earth as a bird. White Hawk chose to be changed into a White Hawk. His celestial sister followed his example and she became a white hawk. He spread his wings and followed by his sister descended with the other birds to the earth where he is still to be found with the brightness of the starry plains in his eye and the freedom of the heavenly breezes in his wings. Isn't that a charming story? I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you do come again. Bye, everyone.